that page of Chrome. So it's a very familiar paradigm to most users. These are applications, icons which you've installed right on the new tab page. One caveat though, these are web applications. You can find them on the web anywhere. But now you can conveniently add it onto your new tab page. So as you can see, there's Clicker. Jim Lanson talked about Clicker.com. I love that application. I have it installed on my new tab page. Let's go ahead and try one application. Let's try TweetDeck. I'm sure many of you are using TweetDeck right now in this audience. TweetDeck has written a complete HTML5 version of their application as well. And so what you're seeing is fully in the browser. It's really slick. You can drag and drop it. Uh, let's go ahead and add a keyword for Google so that we can start watching the tweets come in. So you can add Google. They use the notifications API to deliver tweets to you right in the browser. They also use the geolocation API. So you can click on it and see where all the tweets are coming from. So this is all done using HTML5 in the browser. Let's go ahead and send a tweet. And we can send it to the Google I.O. channel, live from Google I.O. And so this is an application which I've conveniently installed in the new tab page. So let's go back there. One icon you will see on the bottom right is what we call the Chrome Web Store. So you click on the Web Store icon, and it takes you to a ga gallery full of applications. And so you can go here, discover applications, find ratings, reviews, find how many users are using these applications, add comments, etc. So Darkroom, you saw the demo earlier. I love that application. It costs $4.99. I can go ahead and buy it. We worked very hard to simplify the process. So once you set it up, it's normally one click to buy an application. So you can buy it and add it straight into the new tab page of Chrome. So, and you can start using it right away. So let's go back there. It turns out one of the important class of applications on the web is games. 